Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 13 NFL Previews and Analysis. This video is for the Thanksgiving Day game between the Oakland Raiders and the Dallas Cowboys. It'll take place down in Dallas, who comes in with a record of 6-5, and five, now tied with the Eagles for first place in the NFC East, and the Raiders at 4-7, and seven, off the heels of a disappointing loss um, at home to the Titans. And, you know, the Raiders, uh, Matt McGloin, his second start at quarterback, was a loss, but I still like what I saw from the young undrafted quarterback um, from Penn State. He had two threw for 260 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Led them on a fourth quarter scoring drive with six minutes left and put them ahead in that game. Okay, and had it not been for a Ryan Fitzpatrick and Tennessee Titans led touchdown drive, uh, you know he may have pulled out his first two games as the starting quarterback of the Raiders and. When you combine McGloin with the fact that this team has run the ball better here in the last month or so, it's not the Raiders' offense I'm particularly worried about, especially going up against a Dallas defense that led up over 200 yards rushing versus the Giants last week, although they won. And we know how um, that that passing defense can be suspect as well. So if Matt McGloin can avoid the turnover, because the Cowboys are very adept at turning other teams over, we saw that against the Giants you know, with the strip of Victor Cruz and return for a touchdown. Plays like that, the Cowboys have been able to make more so at home. So we'll see if Oakland can avoid the big turnover. If they can, I think they can move the ball. From Dallas's standpoint, look, Dallas should have no problem moving the ball on the Raiders. When you know the Raiders let up 320 yards and some touchdowns last week to Ryan Fitzpatrick. They let up a game-winning drive, most notably to Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, And you look at some of these performances the Oakland defense has had throughout the season, some very good performances, some not-so-good performances, obviously highlighted uh, in my eyes by that Eagles game earlier in the year when Nick Foles threw seven touchdowns. And I think this performance against Fitzpatrick last week really, really perplexed me as well with, how, with how, how good he played at Oakland. So that Oakland defense now traveling, facing a step up in competition, uh, certainly with the Cowboys as opposed to the Titans. How do they react? Um, how do the young players of Oakland react to playing on the stage? Thanksgiving, you know, at Dallas, where Tony Romo um, has been magnificent in his career on Thanksgiving Day, uh, with the Cowboys with obviously a lot to play for, they can go to seven and five, and then sort of sit back and see if the Eagles can keep pace with them in the division. So a big game from all standpoints for Dallas. And look, this Dallas defense uh, let up 200 yards rushing to the Giants. They have to shore up that. Their pass defense was a little bit better, but hey, when you allow 200 yards rushing, uh, the other team probably isn't going to pass that much or need to pass that much. So we'll see if Dallas can force turnovers. Again, uh, they have an excellent plus-minus uh, in the turnover department, and you have a young quarterback coming in with a defense uh, that you know should give up points. And I think you're going to see a scenario where Dallas comes out fast, Oakland's forced to play catch-up, and that leads to some you know, mistakes there by their young quarterback. And although I think Oakland will put up some yards and put up some points, I don't think they'll be able to keep up with Tony Romo and how good he plays on Thanksgiving and that Cowboys offense as a whole. So I like Dallas minus nine and a half, all right, at home to beat the Raiders on Thanksgiving Day. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm previewing not only all the games of Week 13, but every game every week. And I also do sport, uh, NFL videos on here about all the stuff going on around the league. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Enjoy Thanksgiving and enjoy some football as well. Have a great night.